think about that and say, how did humans actually got created? Mm -hmm. And if you think from the perspective of the nature, as you know, uh, on, on our spacecraft we call planet Earth, these are single cell organisms, the eukaryotes and the bacteria and viruses and the fun fungi and yeast and the mold, they have been around for billions of years. The humans are give or take about a couple of hundred thousand years old. So you wonder how did humans got created? So here's my tongue in cheek story of how I believe it actually happened. One day, all these organisms got together. They were living in Africa and they say, you know, we're sick and tired of living in this small space. We want to take over the world. And they all looked at each other. And one of the smarter ones said, you know, I think I know what to do. What would you do? What if we can create something where trillions of us can live inside it? All we have to do is keep this thing healthy. It's going to walk around everywhere. We're going to make them crave what we want. They're going to find that food for us. They're going to go all over the world. They're going to poop everywhere. They're going to spread us around and we're going to take over the world. And they created humans. And the humans, as the humans were evolving, suddenly they started to worry. As you know, we and you and I now worry about artificial intelligence and we keep wondering if this thing we just created called artificial intelligence, if someday it got smarter than us, what would happen to us? And these guys were no dumb. They start thinking about that. And so one of the young ones went to the master and said, Master, Master, we created this thing called humans. What if this thing got smarter than us? What will we do? Master says, not to worry. How so, Master? He says, right inside their cell, they call that mitochondria. You know it's one of our brethren, right? It's one of the ancient bacteria. We talk to it all the time. This thing is the energy factory for their cell. They go out of control, we turn the energy off, they're done. They say, Master, you're so brilliant. Until the another younger one said, Master, Master, you're completely forgetting the point here. They're starting to develop this thing called brain. What are we going to do with that? Master says, not to worry. Remember, most of us live inside the gut. We put a direct connection from the gut right to their brain. They call that a vagus nerve. And they, they don't quite remember just because they call it a vagus nerve like Las Vegas. What happens in the gut doesn't stay in the gut. It goes everywhere. We, in fact, control what happens in their brain. And we let them know what we want through something they call neurotransmitters. So you remember serotonin? Yeah, I remember serotonin. It makes them feel good. Yeah. Guess what? We produce 90% of the serotonin right in the gut. We don't let them produce it. They want to feel good. They got to feed us. And all the stuff, they control our amygdala through their microRNA interference. They control our prefrontal cortex. So our decision making, our behavior, what we do, what we want is controlled by them. And you say, young ones, just remember, like a good leader, we make them think they're making a decision. We are the ones simply pulling the strings. So just sit back, enjoy, and let them take care of us. <laughs>